Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to format and reinstall Windows XP. So, let's begin. Make sure you load the CD in the drive and restart the computer. You should say something like this, press any key to boot from CD. If you don't, you can always press delete, depending on the computer, or F2 in some cases. Once you get into the BIOS, make sure that your first boot device is the CD-ROM. And then you should be able to see boot from CD or DVD and press enter. Once your CD starts, your installation starts, the Windows setup screen will appear, installing all necessary drivers. Once that finish, you're gonna come to this window, welcome to the setup. Now you have three options here. Set up Windows XP, press enter, and to repair, press R. So we're installing it, we're gonna press enter. Now you have to agree to the terms and conditions by pressing F8. Now once you get to this window here, make sure you don't, you don't press R to repair. You don't want to repair this. You want to uh, reformat. So your best option is to click Escape. Don't repair. Now here you have the uh, partition NTFS, which is your full hard drive. Now don't click enter to install, that's not the proper way to reformat the hard drive. In my case I got 6.5 gigs, so the best option is to press D for delete. You're gonna wipe out the entire hard drive, so make sure you have all your information backed up. Now here it's gonna ask you press enter if you're sure you want to delete the system partition so go ahead and press press enter now here are you sure you want to delete it press L all data will be lost make sure you have your system backed up now your hard drive is like brand new hard drive now from here we can press C to create a custom partition or click on enter to use the full hard drive. Now if we press C, let's say you have a 200 gigs hard drive and you want to create a partition for example use uh, 35 gigs I can just set 35,000 and click enter but I'm gonna use my full size so I'm gonna escape out of here and now once you see that it's on partition space it's okay for you to click on enter. Once you click enter, it's going to ask you NTFS file system quick or NTFS file system. If you want to do a proper reformat, you should use NTFS file system. It will check your hard drive for bad sectors. NTFS file system quick is not going to do that. Click start on NTFS file system and when you click start it's going to uh, format the hard drive once it finish formatting the hard drive it's going to install all necessary system file for the operating system to work once it finish installing the uh, system files the computer will restart make sure that when it restarts you don't press enter when it asks you to boot from CD or DVD. I'm gonna pause the video and resume at startup. Starting up and here it is. Don't press enter when it asks you to boot from the CD. Just let it run. Now from here is self-explanatory. All you need to do is select your region language, type your name, 
this process takes like an hour type your product key your computer name you can change it like you see here and then click next select your time in your time zone uh, typical settings click next work group if you have a different change it and click next next that's it thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions